Somebody comes into the office and applies for nationality. They bring in a file. The file is checked. In this case, Ms. Pacheco is the counter supervisor of the day. She gives a receipt that says, I have received your application and lists on it all the documentation that you brought in. That file then is then passed to the senior supervisor who in that particular case was Mr. Wade. It sits there. A date for vetting is, is, is established. A date for in, uh, interview of the person is established. The file is then sent to the special branch for that sort of vetting. When all of that documentation comes back, the file then goes to the director with a recommendation from the head of the department saying all seems to be in order. The director then does her final scrutiny. Clearly, she doesn't go to do the investigation, or but she has to trust her officers. Then that is then sent to the minister with a copy of a certificate for his signature, if he agrees, because the final decision is his. The file is then returned back to the department. A date is set up for swearing in, and all of you are familiar with that fanfare. It is that process that we had to determine where that process fell down. How is it that Mr. Kim has a certificate, which all of you showed on, on, on television, without the director having seen a file, the, 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 the head of department saying, well, I didn't vet the file, and all of this. And you had to, first of all, find the file. Here is Mr. Arthur Saldiva says he has the file. How on earth he got it? All of that takes time. Because when you're talking to people, you say, well, I... I I, Ms. Pacheco says, well, I received the file. That is all I did. And I put it on his desk. And how it moves from his desk and who moves it and how it gets to the minister and all of that needs to be determined before. And that is why that took as long as it did and was not as easy as the passport one. So I don't understand that because the investigative report clearly states that no documents were presented. That is what is has come out in investigation so there was nothing placed on the file of uh, on the desk of Mr. Wade because the minister said as it stated in the report that he didn't bring the supporting documents but he would bring them at a later date and he never did um, all of that is clear so I understand the process that you're outlining but there was no need to go through that process because from the very beginning the files were not the, the supporting documents were not handed in and where you got that information from from after report which report the report which was, I think it was dated October 4th. Which report is that? I could give you a copy. I'm going by the protocols. And let me repeat for you categorically. Ms. Pacheco received a file. Okay? File was placed on Mr. Wade's desk. Not fully completed, placed on Mr. Wade's desk. That's a fact. That's not fiction. Mm -hmm. And from there, somehow, the minister got a certificate to sign. That's fact. That's not fiction. So whatever report you read, please.